it's the kid, 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 it's the kid. I came with a meal. I came with a meal. Guys, hummus and brown bread. Mm. Hummus and brown bread. Yes. Um, what up? Every time I come in through, I must always say, what up? How are you doing? This is important. Now, this is going to be something I will now demand of all of you. You, because we're trying to make this a very relaxed, chill out session, you must all have a meal while watching these live shows. It's key. Um, you cannot relax or really enjoy these live shows if you don't have a meal. So if you have a meal, tell me what your meal is in the, in the, in the live chat. If you don't have a meal, go away, get a meal or a snack, meal or snack, meal or snack, come back and we'll talk. So that's what, so on this edition, as you can see, we're going to talk about aliens. We're going to talk about have an honest conversation about aliens. And we talk about marriage and whether marriage is overrated and why people push people into marriage. And so shout out, I word up to the peeps out there. What up, what up, what up? Um, <laughs> uh, you need to defend your moon landing conspiracy. Bro, I'll, I'll get the don't worry. I mean, let me just go first with um, the, the routine. Let me just go first with the routine and with the thing, and I will 100% defend my moon landing conspiracy because guys it isn't a conspiracy it isn't a conspiracy oh shout out to my muslim brothers out there man haramadan to some of you guys man so so, so so you guys have to now fast for like a month that's because I, I remember when i was the first time i heard about ramadan was i was this is when i was going to school in geneva in switzerland and i remember like there were a few muslim people out there and everyone guys said, yeah, man, like, we're, we're fast. I said, wait, wait, wait what, wait, what does fasting mean? Does it mean that you have to run fast? I said, no, no, we can't eat. Oh, wow, so you can't eat for a day? Can't eat, eat for a month. I was like, what? So when I heard about that, I was like, oh, my gosh, that is wild, man. That is wild. So, yeah, bro, I mean, I'm with, and look, man, I will try and do my best to try and hopefully keep your mind off food with them. Uh, some good quality live shows. So, Guys, we're going to get in. Mm. Listen, about being reactive, conversational, but I really like this topic, and I think this topic is going to be one that's going to be really fun because I'm into sci-fi. Every single day, I think about the Earth. I think about the universe. And, you know, I think about spaceships. I think, as I told you, I am... I'm obsessed about all the planets and stuff. And I think about this stuff all, all the time. So I want to definitely do that. Um, Futimiza, thank you for the super chat. Says, the cannibal celebration on Jen's penalty is a good World Cup moment. I noticed how the other Uruguayan defender also tried to hand the ball. Bro, that is one of the worst things are well i don't blame him the cannibal is a prick for for different things but i, I don't blame him for that but i remember him celebrating and if i was in his position i would have done the same thing so what do we have roast chicken and potatoes wow so is our home cooked roast chicken and potatoes or is that stuff that, I, that, I, that, that, that you bought so is it like so is this where you go to the shop and it's already seasoned and you buy it or is this stuff where You've actually put it in the oven and seasoned it to yourself. I want to maybe do a thingy on 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 seasoning. Milk donuts. On, ooh, milk donuts. I roll personally with cr um, custard cream donuts. That's why I roll. I've jam donuts are, are overrated. They are overrated. Vanilla donuts are all right. Strawberry. As much as I love strawberries, strawberry donuts I'm not into. Custard cream donuts. I'm all about that stuff. I'm going to make some barbecue. Oh, so you make, so how do you do the pizza? Do you have like a special pizza oven? Oh, no, no. Do you actually have a special pizza oven, man? Um, so how do you make your pizza? 
No, bro, it's, it's not. When I was in Nigeria, I was... Remember, I left Nigeria when I, when I was really young. Like, really, really young. So, because I went to school in Geneva when I was... How old was I? I was... Um, oh, yeah, I was 10. Yeah. So, I went to school in Nigeria when, 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 when I, was, I, was, I was 10. So, and the funny thing is that, look, most of the people... One of my best friends, this is one of my best, best friends, was one of my mom's employees, one of my, my best friends, Ghani. Yeah, he was Muslim. So I knew about the prayer. I knew all about the stuff here. But, you know, when you're young, you don't really fully grasp when they're saying Ramadan, Ramadan, because it doesn't really grasp upon you. It was only when I went to school in Switzerland and I knew people. So I knew classmates and so forth who had to go through the whole Ramadan thing. That I was like, oh, geez, oh, so there's this thing there. So, so then when I went to school there. So, guys, let's ride through it. Not, Enough with the pleasantries, man. Enough with the um, pleasantries right now. Let's let's go straight into it now. Do aliens exist? Um. So the don't buy. Um, don't buy that crap. Do not buy that crap that you see uh, on movies. Aliens do not look like the Martian men that you see in E.T. or any other, other stuff. They don't. So when we talk about do aliens exist, um, I think it's we have to completely destroy all of the notions that we have Of aliens. Um, I want to come at both sides here. So, let me first deal with the arguments for aliens not existing. Let me just deal with our arguments first. We don't know how long the world has been going on for. We, we don't know. Um, so, but Humans have been around for questions of hundreds of years. So my thing is that if aliens do exist, how come they haven't contacted us yet? I'll get the I know you can easily refute that, but let me just go through the whole things. If aliens exist, how come we haven't been contacted by them yet? You know, um, what knowledge do we have? that there is a a similar sentient intelligence race or so forth beyond this this milky way what do we how do we even know that there's another milky way that exists beyond here so and really pretty much for me that's it because human beings overrate themselves human beings are overrated i mean we we pop off, we are popping off, but human beings are slightly overrated because our intelligence is only based on what we know. Guys, you know, like sometimes just just sometimes just, just pause for a minute. Pause for a minute and just think about this. Do you realize that if you took a white sheet of paper, and let's say the white sheet of paper was 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 the universe. We are barely a sp the the Earth. No, no, no. This Milky Way, this sorry, this solar system is barely a speck. That's how large the uni the uni universe is. So, to us, a spaceship is like, whoa, man, NASA, yo, baby, what up, baby, NASA, man, what's the what's 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 the name of that dude, Buzz Aldrin, man, who wants to Neil Armstrong, yo, what up, baby, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. But that's to us. But maybe to an advanced race, a spaceship is like a wooden cat. <coughs> or a spaceship is like a bicycle to an ad ad advanced race. So the thing about it is, this is where I've always come through with this, is that the universe is massive. However big you think the universe is, it's 50 times bigger than, than that. So for a universe of that magnitude, it is of that magnitude to tell me that there isn't another advanced race out there. Think about this. And this is where this is the issue of where 
you bring in the whole notion of the Bible and about human beings and, and so forth, which is that how arrogant is it to think that God is a is is an image of a human being? First of all, that God is a old white dude with a beard. How arrogant is it to think that we are the center of every we we are the center of the uni, uni, universe? How arrogant of that? What are what just what just dudes man? We're just trying to live. We're just dudes, trying, trying to live. So the thing about it is that there is no hard evidence. I am, I'm just going based off logical deduction. There is no hard evidence whether aliens exist or not, but logical deduction states that the universe is too big, it is too vast for there not to be several alien organisms out there. And we just don't have the capability to reach there. Or bro, we can only, bro, we've only landed on one planet once. Okay, and that was in the sixties, allegedly. For Earth, wow, wow, great. To the to the universe, human beings are a, a, a class B. You know, no, human beings might be class A in terms of the universe. We, we might be we might be class A. We are tier one in in in, in any terms. We are class A in terms of the universe. <laughs> okay, where okay, you, you, where, where are your space stations? We've not yet even moved or colonized on another planet. You know, I'm not saying you should, should colonize Mars, but because chill. But my thing though is um, the universe is vast. And so we really don't have the intelligence to contact another race. But that advanced race may be trying to contact us, but they can't contact us as well. So the thing, and this is what I've always said is that I don't want to meet an alien, but I want to. And that may sound confusing, but if you're thinking about it, it makes sense. I don't want to meet an alien, but I want to. And let me, and let me hit this up. Um, have you ever seen him play Peter Doom Fool or Black Dynamite? I've seen both. Both very good, good films. And Black Dynamite is an amazing film. Black Dynamite is an absolutely amazing film. Um, and I, th I think I even re re recommended that, man. Um, so it's, yo, it's my, bro, this is my all-time dude man infinity lives man this is my halo dude man this is my halo partner man infinity we have to do some reach bro you keep i keep on texting you we have to do some reach infinity let's do some so, some some halo reach man uf you you ufos exist so what is what's your, let me bring up my thing man um because i wanna i wanna bring up your your boy thingy magic Wait, what's this is? there we go um Okay. All right, no. Um UFO. Cause, Cause I wanna I wanna go to like can you shut the heck up? No. Oh, can you wait, what is this crap? Okay, I agree. Shut up. Oh, so this is okay, so UFO an unidentified flying object is an aerial phenomenon that cannot immediately be identified. Most UFOs are identified or conventional. So UFOs exist. It's been proven by the military. There's footage, so I'd probably say it's extremely likely. Um, you see, that's where we get into Area 51 now, because my thing about Area 51 is if you've got nothing to hide, why can't we just view this, this stuff? So, so look at that. Nobody, there's actually no footage of the interior of Area 51. So if you go interior, Area 51. Is this is this real or is this just an artistic? Yeah. So guys, think about that. Throughout all these years, we do not have any footage of the inside of Area 51 yet, which is wild. Which is real. And also, guys, but by the way, I don't know whether who needs to hear this, but if we saw an alien, he would look nothing like 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 this. <laughs> this is a human being's interpretation of an alien. An alien will look nothing like this, so please don't. But I don't want to just even Google. Do aliens exist? Just to see what, what what's out there. Aliens exist. Aliens definitely exist, and they could be living among what? Oh, this is from this year. 
Aliens exist and they could be living among us. Whoa. Aliens def- oh shut up. Aliens definitely exist. Britain's first astronaut has said, and it's possible they're living among us on Earth, but have gone undetected so far. Helen Sherman, who visited the there are so many billions of stars out in the universe that there must be all sorts of different forms of life. Will they be like you? Okay, let's just shut that up. Um, now that's wild. That is that is wild. That um, if you that aliens may have actually just be living with us through there. And another thing I've heard is like, guys, now this is crazy. I remember this before. Do you realize that 80% of the Earth's makeup is the sea? 80% of the Earth's makeup is the sea. We have only investigated about 20 or so percent of the sea. So we haven't even scratched the surface of what's happening within the sea. And some people have said that if you go down further enough in so deep into the sea, you will see some of the crazy stuff you've ever seen. Which is that... As human beings, that's what we well, like, let's just keep it real. I think we are bricks. I think we are we are we are class B bricks. If we go like 50% or so forth, and we're screwed. Have you seen this film up the abyss? I don't know whether you guys have seen this film. It's called The Abyss. Um wait, let me great film by James by James James Cameron. Um yeah, the abyss. Because this is about, oh, Michael Bean was that dude, man. This is about um, where they pretty much investigate the deep things into the scene. So, guys, the effects, this was in the 90s. Oh, don't mess with James Cameron. This was during the 90s, mid 90s. I mean, this is Ed Harris there. Yeah, the, yeah that, that, that's because uh, uh, Ed Harris, Michael Bean, and I can't remember what this, her, her name is called. But yeah. This is about investigating into the sea because of the, what they're saying that, bro, there is some wild stuff deep, deep into the sea. Guys, 80%, 80% of the air snake comes to the sea. So we are living in the 20% that makes up um, the sea, which, which is wild, which, which is wild, bro. Um, but yeah, but my thing, though, is that um, don't base anything of what we know do not base anything of what we know um because if you do that that's you're you're being foolish you're being foolish if you base everything off of we know and people keep hearing this what happened in in roswell what is we what is roswell if you don't mind me asking um wait let me just, roswell what is roswell Roswell UFO incident. All right, let's let's look look it up. In mid 1947, a U.S. Army Air Force balloon crashed at a ranch near Roswell. New, following wide interest in the f- crashed flying disc, the U.S. military said that it was merely a conventional weather balloon. Interest subsequently waned until the late 1970s when UF ufologists began promoting a variety of increasingly elaborate conspiracy theories. You see, this is where we're now getting to conspiracy theories. So look. I always want evidence. I always want evidence. Because, again, remember what we said about conspiracy yesterday? If it's interesting and we want to, to believe it, we will therefore say, all right, it's true. But, but, the, but the thing about it is that, look, I mean, all this stuff about the Air 51 UFO, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even on that. I'm not on that. Like, I'm, I'm past what? My main thing and my focus really um, is... The the universe is too vast. And I just hope that in my lifetime, I can see aliens because that would just be amazing. If we could just see other sentient light forms, advanced forms, it would be crazy. Because remember, we our depiction of aliens is just based on a very limited intelligence. Our intelligence isn't that great. It's only, it's, 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 it's only, it's only pops off on Earth. Earth is a speck. So it's, it's only pops off on, on Earth. But what I would like to see is the alien, is, is how aliens think, because how, how they would look like. Because I'm sure how aliens look like 
is completely different from how we would imagine them based on what, what their eyes look like, what their nose look like, and what the other stuff look like. But now this here's not where it gets real. This is where it gets real. This, <laughs> this is the thing that me and my, my family have always said. What would you do if there was an alien invasion? What would you do? What would you do if there was an, an alien invasion? Um, would you... Because I've, this is what I've always said, and people call me crazy. If there was an alien invasion, I'm siding with the aliens. If there's a war between human beings and aliens, I'm going with the aliens. There is no way on Earth, <laughs> on Earth human beings would be able to band together and work together as one if there was an alien invasion. If there's an alien invasion, human beings are getting sacrificed. They're getting sacrificed. They're getting completely and totally sac sacrificed, man. Um, so, now this is interesting. I mean, it's, okay, well, this is, but it's a slightly on the whole, on the whole, whole same thing. Um, H, do you think human humans with superhuman abilities already exist? Um, Do you think human beings, humans with superhuman abilities already exist? No, I don't think so. And you see, that's maybe a separate thing. That's maybe, it's, that's maybe a separate thing, but I would say no, because if they did, we would know about it. We would, someone would know about it. Even if it's someone that lived in a jungle or something, if there was someone with a superhuman ability, we would know about it. Is it would be very difficult to keep something like 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 that secret, you know. Um so but yeah, but 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 see see my thing is like look, maybe there's an alien race that is trying right now to be like, who can we reach? Who can we contact? Who can we get a hold of? That's what they're doing right now. You know, because I'm sorry, guys, human beings have done well in terms of thanks for my PlayStation, thanks for my Xbox, thanks for my computer, thanks for all of these kind of gadgets. But in terms of going out there and truly investigating, well, we are, we are human beings are bricks. Because more, Maybe, I mean, after I've done this stuff, I will tell you the whole stuff about the moon landing because that moon landing is a fool for Gacy. All I'll say about the moon moon landing is Capricorn 1. That's all I'll say. It's, it's, it's a movie. All I'll say about the moon landing is Capricorn 1. So, because it's, you see, these are all theories. And, you know the, the, and what tends to happen is whatever theories you have are mostly wrong. So, as people talk about, oh my gosh, this... That's blah 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 blah. This is what happened and everything. Probably the truth is as well. Like the truthfully, it didn't really pop enough. <laughs> so your so your theories aren't really as sexy as the actual truth itself. You know, the actual truth, truth itself. Um we landed five times on the moon. Do you have footage of that? Last I checked, a few dudes apparently walked on the moon in the 60s. Do you have footage of people walking on the moon and operating on the moon? Do you? Because all the we all we know is that Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are the only people that f fully have walked on the moon. That's that's why it's a big deal for them. There is there are no other people who have gone to the moon and fully walked around and operated on this. So. Um, so that's the thing, man. No, 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 that whole moon thing, man. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice wild man. But, but yeah, look, the answer to this question is, I hope. I hope. Rather than me being certain of it, man, um, I rather hope that there are aliens. Because if all we have are human beings to deal with, then I believe that was screwed. Personally, I then I believe that was that, that was screwed. If all we have to contend with are human beings, man, 
And look, my thing about this is that if aliens, guys, think about it. If aliens invaded, now, who knows? They could be worse than us. Aliens could be worse than us because, see, the notion, whenever you know, whenever you see this whole alien invasion stuff, you always see like aliens with advanced web, web, web weaponry and stuff and everything. But then, as much as you see them with the advanced web weaponry, you always see like America or an American president who basically single handedly, single handedly dis, dis, destroy them. That's what happens in the movies. Independence Day was, was pretty good. War of the Worlds, boom. So you just say, look, just send out Tom, Tom Cruise or the president in Independence Day and we're all right. Oh, Will, Will, Will Smith. So who knows? Maybe if aliens came, um, Nothing would be great. It's, it's, it's like they, they wouldn't even be, be that advanced. But my, but my, my thing though is this: is that I wouldn't take that chance. I'm siding with the aliens. So, guys, I'm sorry. I'm um, let's if the if the aliens say we need the codes for planet Earth, I'm like, chill. Let me get them for you. Save me a spot in your new race. That's all I ask for. So all I ask for the aliens is look, man. If you're invading. It is what it is. It's harsh, you know, blah. You know, human human beings are all right. So, no, we've got a few bricks and everything, but I think it's all right. But if you're doing that, I'm like, all right, let's make it happen. I'll get you the codes. Save me a spot in your new alien race. I don't need anything big. Just give me, you know, just, just give me a, a little spot, man, and, 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 and we can ride, man. Um, but you see, for me, see, I'm not, that's, like I told you, UFOs, Area 51, military, Roswell incident, this, that. That's not even what I'm, I'm looking for. You know, that's not even what I'm looking for. I think Area 51 and all these kinds of things might be something different in terms of stuff that I think is more to do with experiments. I think it's more to do with experiments. That's why they didn't want um, the the um, the public to know. I don't, I don't believe that we alien spaceships have arrived Already now, they haven't. Alien spaceships haven't arrived already. I think that's just to do with the look. The governments do a lot of stuff that they don't want people to to know about, and they don't want people to um, kind of roll with, man. Um, but I think it's more a case to do with um, yeah. They might be they, they may be doing experiments, but my thing is the universe is too massive. It's so huge. That's why one of my dreams is if I could have a spaceship and just venture. Because imagine if you had a spaceship and you could venture crazy amounts of miles way beyond the solar system. Guys, imagine what the hell is out there. Imagine what the hell is out there, man. Um, are you trolling or are you um, actually being serious? I need to know. <laughs> are you trolling or are you being serious? If you're being serious... Um, I really feel sorry for you because if <laughs> okay, so okay, 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 let me humor you. Okay, before I go to the, to the next topic, let me just let, let me just humor you now. So the Earth is flat. So if the Earth is flat, do you believe that we're in a solar system? So if you if you believe the Earth, so that means we don't we're not in a solar system. All our planets don't exist. That silvery thing up in the sky at night, it's CGI. It's it, it's it's CGI. Like that sphere up up in the night in in in, in the sun, it's CGI. Um, so when you look into a, a a telescope and 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 so forth and everything, and you see all these different planets, CGI, governments. Um. So, if you have a plane, you can fly off the edge of the Earth. Because if it, if if it's flat, there, there's there's there, there, there's an edge. If it's a sphere, you just go around, around, and around. But if it's flat, that means I want to know the people who can hang off the edge of the of of, of the planet. Because there has to be an edge. Because if it is flat, there has to be an edge. So if so, basically, if it's flat, maybe if the edge is water, maybe there's like a waterfall that's like what was what, falling down into the the universe. So, please give me the logic behind a flat Earth, man. Okay, we are not in a solar system. All right. Um. 
So if we are not in a solar system, my dear friend, where are we? So let me ask you this. If you're not in a solar system, where are we? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. If we are not in a solar system, where exactly are we? Guys, apparently, we are inside a dome. We have been lied to. Put down your bricoscope. Ignore um, all of those things that, that go through. Guys, we are inside a huge, massive dome. Moving on very swiftly. Moving on, on very swiftly, guys. Bear with me. Let me just get a quick thing. A quick thing. I'll be back. Quick thing. All right. So, next topic, man. Um, and then, of course, I'll take questions, man. Marriage. <laughs> Marriage. Because I think someone actually asked me this when I was doing my Twitch. So, shout out to the person. But yeah, people have been asking me about it. So, before I go into this, let me give you a story. So, when I was doing my, my sometimes when, I, when I'm, I'm doing my um, part-time job, they send me to Nigeria, which is like the hub of um, where a job is at. And in Nigeria, you have to get married. If you, if you are a certain age and not married in Nigeria, you are looked at as crazy and insane. You're looked at as absolutely insane and crazy if you reach a certain age and you're not yet married in Nigeria. So I remember we were just having a discussion and everyone was talking about, you know, the, you know, you know, I want, I want to get a, a family, kids, I want to get married here, I want to get married here. And they asked me, oh, yeah, so, so when do you plan on getting married? And I said, I don't plan on getting married. I was looked at as a madman. People said, wait, wait, what? What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Are you mad? Whoa, 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 whoa. People thought I was crazy. People thought, who is this weirdo who doesn't believe in marriage? Something struck me. One of my good friends, huge friends uh, that I knew, <laughs> okay, let me back up. So, I've known this guy since I was 10. Because I, I stayed with, with his parents and everything when I went to school in, in Geneva. So, I've known him for a long time. And I'm, I'm very close with the fa family. He then called me. He was, he was doing a play. This is when I was, I, was, I was an actor. So, we did this play, but I'd end up not not, not doing the, the 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 play and everything, you know. I was doing other stuff because yeah, this is when I just I wanted to go away from plays. But during the play, there was this girl that like I, I was like really like attracted to her and everything. I was like, oh blah blah blah. Lo and behold, I found out that him and the girl actually got together. So like, oh, damn it, there goes another one. And then obviously they then decide to get married, and obviously. He invites me to, to the wedding. Then something struck me. Because, you know, they did the whole thing, wedding. Then they sit down and they start to sign a contract. And I was like, why do you have to sign a contract? This should be a loving union. 
a loving union. So when I just stared at them, because they both had the books, and they both, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is supposed to be a loving union. Why are you signing a contract? So then I just said to myself, wait, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a wolf. I'm an independent. I don't go with the crowd. And I don't... See, I'm not a contrarian. A contrarian is just a guy who desperately just wants us to be different. But for me, I'm one of those guys that I, I always ask why. Why? 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 If you can give me a good reason, all right. Boom, I'm in. But if you cannot give me a good reason, then no, I'm not doing it. So anything you tell me to do, I'm saying, why do I have to do do that. So, with marriage, and look, guys, trust me, my mom is pressuring me to do marriage. But what I would say to my mom is that, well, before you pressure me, you could, you could pressure my older brothers as, as, as well, because I'm the youngest in my family. I'm the baby. So, me being the, the baby means, nah, 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 go to all the people first before you come to, to me. But she still pressures me. But that's myself, that, wait a minute. <laughs> this is the example I use. Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Like, let me, let me pull them up. Let me, let me pull them up. Sorry. So let me pull these guys up. Because Corrosso is one of my favorite actors of all time. And I loved Goldie Horn. I was a huge Goldie Horn fan back in the day. Um, so there they are right there. Goldie Horn and Corrosso. See, it is, they have been together for 37 years. It has been 37 years for Goldie Hawn and Gold Frost. The popular veteran claimed to do it, never married. Never married. And they've been together for 37 years. Now, I think, what's it called? Tim Robbins and Susan Sandy were also together for quite long, but I think they then broke up like about a few years ago. But yeah, Corrosal and Goldie Hawn have been together for these many years. They've been together for these many years. And... They're still together and still in a loving relationship, and they've never married. And they ask Goldie Hawn, and Goldie Hawn, wait, 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 you've been together for so long. Why don't you want to ask him to be married? And Goldie Hawn says, if I did that, it would ruin the special thing that we have, because what we have works. So this then goes back to my point of like, why do we have to have a marriage? Why does society pressure people into this thing called a marriage? If you're together, you're together. Why do you need a thing? Why do I need to lubricate my bank account for that wedding ring? What I need, why do I need to circumcise my life savings for that wedding? Because I've had so many stories of people who were lovingly who took together at one point. The moment they got married, everything just turned to, to crap. The amounts of family members I know who have gone through horrible divorces is crazy. I am a child of a horrible divorce. <laughs> okay? So, and I've seen it first, and I am a child of a horrible, horrible divorce. So then I say to myself that this whole thing of a marriage, it's a social construct. And people buy into it. But nobody takes a step back and says, wait a minute. You see now. The only thing that, the only how, how marriage makes sense is if you're doing it for something. Like, for instance, there's a, like, for instance, like, see, this, my my English friend, who, who stayed there, he was going on with this Malaysian girl who couldn't get um, papers to stay in England. And then I was saying, I, I, then I said to him, look, man, if you are, you guys, are, if you relate together and you really love her, bro, just get married. Because if you get married, legally, she can stay here. So if you're doing it for illegality, you want someone to stay with you here for foreign? Boom, get married. Boom, and then may make it happen. Again, like and see his his brother, his younger brother, again English citizen, met this girl in Colombia, and she got married to this Colombian girl. Now the Colombian girl doesn't have to worry about any visa issues or whatsoever because again it is illegal for your wife not to um, live with, where the family and and and, and the husband is. But then again, so that's the whole thing, man. <laughs> so I just ask myself is, oh, my God. Uh, so it's not a social contract. It's, no, it's not. How is it? No, it, marriage isn't by, That makes no sense. 
marriage is biological. Biological is literal science. Like a baby being born is 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 biology. Is scientific. Um, the egg, the the sperm impregnating the egg, that is scientific. Marriage isn't scientific. It's a social construct. It is it is a thing created by human beings. See, biology extends beyond human beings. Biology extends to monkeys, to chickens, rats, ants, eagles, and so forth. The, so science covers all living. No, no, no. No, biology covers all things. What's it called? Gren. Growth, reproduction, excretion, all that kind of stuff. Please show me. Because more, you say, so more, you say you have footage of people landing on the moon. More, show me footage of a monkey marriage. I want to see the wedding ceremony of two ants. Since you say that it's not a social cons construct and it's bi biological, I want to see the wedding ceremony of two ants. Because if you can show that to me, I'm watching. I'm stopping the stream right now, and I'm and I am watching. Okay, let me let me let me, let me let's even pull this up. And marriage. Nope, there's nothing about ants getting married, bro. Because, because, guys, if there is, I'm, I'm going there through the man. Um, all right, let's just see what you guys have. So, why do we need marriage rings? Um, it's a it's it's status. Well, this is see now. See the thing again. Remember, I don't believe in marriage, but it's like first of all, the, a, a wedding ring doesn't need to be that expensive. But see, that now goes to a, a different thing of the female psychology. But a wedding ring is useful for if a guy is trying to hit on a woman, they see the ring, you know. <laughs> so then, if you're a guy trying to chat up a woman with a wedding ring, okay, you're a, okay, you're a certain kind of guy. <laughs> okay, you're a certain kind of kind of guy. So it could be useful there. But yeah, like the wedding ring is the same as the marriage. Like it's all a construct, man. Um HH is a pimp. I'm not a pimp, actually. Um, I'm just a truth sayer. You know, I'm not a pimp, I'm just a truth sayer, man. Um so that's the thing, man. Um Bro, I have seen a Bugs Life. Really good film. One of the rare Pixar films that, that are actually good. The rest are, are, are flipping garbage. But one of the rare Pixar films that are actually very good. But my thing about this is um, it's you cannot tell me why marriage is a necessity. You simply can't. You can't tell me why marriage is, is, is a necessity. Um, be wary of any woman who is desperate to get married, especially if she doesn't want to sign a prenuptial agreement. There's a story about Steven Jackson. Let me even pull it up for you guys. Um, so this is a crazy story. Steven Jackson, marriage. Actually, okay, actually, no. Okay, that's fine. So basically, Steven Jackson, basically this dude, he basically, this is a crazy story. So what happened was he left his wife at the altar. You know what that happened? Before the marriage was, was supposed to happen and before it was to go through, Stephen Jackson, basketball star, entered the money, wanted to sign a prenuptial agreement, which means that you can only live with the money that was made once that was that's made during the marriage. Any money that I made before the marriage, you can't touch a cent. And this woman said, Oh, yeah, 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 I'll sign it, I'll sign it, I'll sign it, I'll sign it, I'll sign it. Because here's nothing. Yeah, I'll sign it, I'll sign it. Moments comes for the marriage. And she still hasn't signed it and she wants to get married. And he said, No, after that, <laughs> you were trying to screw me over. That we now get married and you were trying to finesse me. So there are women out there, not all women, not all women. So I don't want to really blank some but there are some women out there who, rich dude, let me get him in, let me get that money. And for some guys, see, there are some guys who you deserve to get finessed. If you're 
stupid enough and dumb enough to not, to not sign a prenuptial agreement to learn how much money you have, you deserve to get finessed. You deserve to get screwed, screwed over. So for Jeff Bezos, I don't know what happened. Because his wife took half. His wife, I don't know whether she took half, but she took she, 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 cash. She took a lot of flipping cash, man. So, um, yeah, like, I don't understand the difference between what Kurt Russell and Golden Horn has as opposed to a 20-year marriage or a 30-year marriage. Because that's why I have so much respect for Goldie Horn. I have so much respect for Goldie Horn. Because 100%, if Goldie Horn said to Corosso, I want to get married, Corosso would be like, yeah, sure, 100%, he would. So it's Goldie Horn that says, I don't know with the marriage thing. So if they were to break up, Goldie Horn doesn't take anything. So Goldie Horn has to be one of the realest women out there. Goldie Horn answers and Sarandon. Those women out there who are like, nah, man, I don't need this whole marriage thing. As long as we're together, what's what together? So if we, we we break up, we break up. I don't take a sense from you. But the idea that you're signing a contract, and in that contract, it says, if we break up, I take half, it's sketchy. Guys, Eddie Murphy. I don't know how many of you have seen Eddie Murphy roll. Because... <laughs> Because <laughs> because he had a yeah I don't know how many of you have seen Eddie Murphy role because it's it's on it's on Netflix by the way it's on Netflix but Eddie Murphy had a great sketch because Eddie Murphy said that where he said half half because he said this imagine if all you had to your name was five dollars five dollars was all you had 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 to your name and someone had to take half so they took like three dollars fifty you'd be pissed imagine if you're worth 500 million and someone took 250 of that it's wild so yeah man i don't get it bro um i don't get it bro. um it's it's wild man um all right let's let's we've got some super chats up in here so from Footy Wizard, if the marriage isn't like Ghost and Tasha, <laughs> we bought Footy Wizard, Ghost and Tasha, how good of a, of a, of a marriage was, was that? You know, I don't really know. I mean, how good of a marriage was that between Ghost and Tasha? Because that was a what? See, that was much more of a working relationship rather than a loving marriage. It was much more of like a working relationship pe personally. Um, Saying, I asked a girl to get married. She said, H H said no. Well, that is maybe because you have to understand why did she say no? Did she say no because of what she thinks about you? Did she say no because she's maybe she's got a marriage? But most likely she probably said no because she maybe doesn't think that you would be the right kind of but that's you're not husband material. So there are girls who they like the guy, but like, wait, are you husband material? So then they may be like, no. So for me, yeah, like for me, the whole marriage thing, man, is um I don't know why you would rush into something where you could lose half your money and where there are high rates of the of, of, of divorce. But my thing is this what makes a married couple more loving than a, than a, than a regular couple. Tell me, what makes a married couple more special than a, than a regular ass couple? <laughs> Why does the union of marriage? Why does the union of marriage have something deeper? Than just people people staying together. Like, 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 I mean, like, like what? So is it because it has a religious tonation to it? That's what so if it, so because it has a religious tonation to it, then it's like, uh, I don't get that. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Um, oh my <laughs> bro, Damien man. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, you don't want to get me banned here, man. Damn it. So, thank you so much, Mr. Ghost made sure Tasha got zero zilch. 
is it now in now when we're rolling like that now it's different but how many guys are like ghosts how many guys are like I mean, how many guys roll like ghosts they're not the guys who have the kind of thuggish and you know what i'm gonna like like ghosts so 99 percent of guys in the world aren't ghosts i.e think like him have his means or or done what he has he has done so ghost is like the ideal kind of guy and archetype of a man that you want to as, aspire to and not many people are like that um from the real deal again Oh, now, now, now this is interesting. She said no because she doesn't. She does not be, be believe in it. That's rare. There are. I don't know. I've not met a single woman who doesn't believe in marriage. Not. I've not met a single woman who doesn't believe in marriage. Almost every single woman I've met, they are thinking of marriage. They're thinking of, you know. It's it's like a, it's like a package. It's like buy one get one free. They're thinking of a twin one pa package: marriage, kids, kids, marriage, marriage, kids, kids, marriage. Like you can't have a family without having that whole thing of a marriage, and especially because their parents are maybe old school. Even more so, they're looking for that whole marriage thing. So it's it's it's, it's very rare, man. So I'll get married if we ain't signing no papers, bro. Then you can, then you're not getting married. The whole notion of a marriage is to sit down and to sign papers. That is the very crux of a, of a marriage. Is you're literally sitting down. It's it's a marriage is a contract. It's not loving. It's not a loving thing. If it's truly genuine, bro, we don't need to sign anything. If it's that's just the thing about it. If it's truly loving, we don't need to sign anything. It is what it is. We believe in it. But once you're signing a contract, it's different. When you're signing a contract, it's different. So signing papers is wild, man. Signing papers is wild. Bro. Um, now, this is it now. This is interesting. Women don't want a marriage. They want a wedding. I mean... <laughs> Yes, they don't want to want to marriage, but I get where you're coming from. Is because I think that that's what they would say. Like the the wedding isn't for the man; it's for the woman. Like it's the wedding; it's it's not for you; it's for her. It's it's not for you; it's for her. Like when I like the, the weddings that I've and I've been to so many weddings. <laughs> Look, I'm Nigerian, man. Like marriage is a big thing, so I've been to a lot of wedding weddings. And whenever I um and sometimes some of the weddings like. For family members and so forth, we look at the. I'm, I'm there for the build up. It's deep. <laughs> like the stuff is deep. Like, but it is very much focused <laughs> on what the woman wants. Because for the guys, like the, the guys don't know that to do like a big round of thing, but it is a big moment for a woman because <laughs> you have to understand that for, for women, when they're girls, This is one of the biggest days of the life, and therein lies the issue. That's the issue. From when they are little girls, they are already doing pretend marriages, and it's already in their constructs of, oh man, this is what I'm going. To, this is my wedding dress. This is how my, my wedding is going to be, and everything. So it's already a dream from when they're young. For guys, when we're young, our dream is, man, can I be in a football stadium? Can I put in it? So that's what, think about this. We never realize our dreams. Most women do realize their dreams because most women get married as opposed to most men who don't end up being a football star, who don't end up being a huge rap star, who don't end up being a huge actor, who don't end up being a, a huge bas basketball star. Like those are our dreams. <laughs> okay. Any guy's dream, any guy who says his dream is a wedding might be psychotic. He might be not true, but he might he might be, he might be psychotic, bro. He might be psych psychotic, man. Um, <laughs> that age <laughs> marriage is like a fairy tale that lasts for a bit and ends horribly. Yeah. Um. 
But you see, my I remember my aunt saying saying this to, to me, and this was a very um interesting thing because because I said, well, you know, like, what's, you know, how do you maintain a marriage and everything? But she's like, no, marriage is is hard work, and it's something you have to work at every single day. <laughs> it ain't roses and rainbows. Well, oh la 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 la, because no, my aunt said, no, no, no. Yes, there are good times and lovely times, but really, to maintain the long longevity, you've got to walk. You've got to walk at it. You've got to walk at it. What's it called? I think the whole thing with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, like they, like they said, they they made a pact that they would never get divorced. Whatever happens, they will never get divorced, and that's why I think for me, I think they've got an open relationship. So I think they've got an open marriage where they can actually go out and see other people and actually have sex with with, with other people. But I said, no matter what happens. We will never get the, the, the divorced. So <laughs> marriage ain't easy. It ain't this thing that you see in the um um on the movies and all that kind of stuff, man. So it's wild, bro. Um so bride price. Do you have never bride price? Nope. <laughs> I've never had a head of that, bro. <laughs> I've never heard of a, a bride price. I don't think they basically sell things, man. Um, but yeah, man, it's it's marriage is wild, bro. Marriage marriage is wild, you know. And I and I and I and I, I don't know why people feel pressured to because you know you know the the worst thing I hear is when I hear of people who got married because they because they felt it was what they needed to do. They felt that it is what they had to, to, to do. And that's where I go back to the whole thing of societal pressures and the social construct. <laughs> societal pressures and the social construct. And people don't question things enough. People just go. Because again, why is this thing called marriage a thing? Why is it a thing? Why is it why is it something that you have to do? For me, the you cannot lump marriage with having kids. Because I feel like having kids is now not everybody basically you shouldn't be forced to have kids, but I think you should have kids. You should. Well, it's, it's not a must. If if you don't have kids, you're gonna be oh but you should have kids because the because the idea of passing on a lineage and um, passing on information. Carrying on your thought processes, carrying on your name, I think that's an important thing. Marriage isn't an important thing. You can't lump marriage with having kids. So when certain societies look at you and say, wow, you had sex out of wedlock, you had kids out of wedlock, you have kids and you're not and you're not married. For me, I'm like, why is that an issue? Why is it an issue that I have a family, but I'm not married? Because again, People are slaves to this social construct. And they don't know that it's a social construct. Because a social construct is, as, 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 as Mo said, there's, there's social constructs and there's biology. Like kids and so much, that's biology. That is biology that extends beyond human beings. Marriage is solely a human creation. Having kids and a family, that is, that is something that every living thing does. Every living thing in this world produces kids and has families and have and have tribes and so forth. You know, so it's something that just fully extends. Something that just fully, fully extends, man. Um, so yeah, let's. I'll take some questions now, guys. I'll take some of your questions right now, man, so we can then talk about. So, Fruity Wizard, thank you for super chat, dear bro. Is Jonah Lomo the best athlete build of all time? Would you do a reaction on him? Dude played through kidney disease and was still number one. Rugby's R9. I don't know how many of you guys watch rugby. Because I used because I again, I, I didn't like it, but I was forced to play rugby when I was in school. Because I was one of the fastest guys in school. Um and Junalomu was like R9. On steroids. Just look up Jonalomo on YouTube. That's what I ask. Again, I don't want to play anything here because we'll probably get a thing. Look up Jonalomo on thing. This guy 
it's I, I was watching a rugby a rugby game and it literally took five dudes to tackle this guy down. It literally took five dudes to tackle this guy down. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. So just look up some of Jonalomu's tries for New Zealand. He was absolutely crazy. So that's why whenever people say like, oh, when you think of New Zealand, what's the first thing that you think of? Some people think of Lord, Lord, the Lord of the Rings. Or Peter Jackson. When I think of New Zealand, the first image I have is of Jonalomu. Then the hacker. Like for me, Jonalomu is the first image I think of when I think of the um, thingy. Um, I was doing something on Twitter. I don't know whether you've seen my thread on, on Twitter. What, what do you guys think? So if you've heard of this whole versus battle, hits for hits, 20 hits. This is now this is what I, I said. Nobody can beat Jay-Z in a rap battle of 20 hits. No one. No one. Jay-Z hits for hits, 20 hits. Nobody can beat Jay-Z. Drake. You can't use R&B. Rap for rap, you can't do it. Kanye West would be a good battle. Jay-Z has a longer and a, and a deeper rap hip-hop catalog. And also, I don't class Kanye West as a rapper. He's a producer that raps, but he's not a rapper. And he's not a very good rapper. But again, that's what I said. Jay-Z, I mean, give, give, give me names, give me names. 20 hits, hits for hits, not just songs or quality songs, genuine hits, bangers. Nobody is beating Jay Z hit for hit. I've never said see for me. I have never. Um, Jay Z is not my favorite rapper. He isn't. My favorite rapper is Farrah Munch. Is either is is it's between Farrah Munch, KRS One, or even Nas? You know, and I, I've always preferred Nas to Jay Z. But if I'm being objective, Jay Z is the greatest rapper of all time, and hits for hits, hits for hits. Nobody is, is, is bidding him over 20 songs. That's what I've always said, man. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, you see, now, you people saying Eminem. <laughs> you see, you, you people saying Eminem. Th Eminem is a pop star. This is about rap. See, I don't class Eminem as a rapper. I can I look at him as a pop star who raps really well. If this is about rap hip hop hits, Eminem can't play anything against Jay Z because Jay Z's hits are legendary within rap the rap community. Eminem's songs are legendary in the pop world, in the larger world, and and so forth. It's in the general population world of popularity, that's where his stuff is larger. But in terms of in the hip hop world, you what my name is without me, the real you're gonna play the real slim shady in a hip hop rap battle? Nah, come on, bro. Um that's 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 that's, that's what's what, bro. Um yeah, look, look, I mean, look, if you guys are happy, man, to do it, yeah, I will I will make this thing daily. You know, I'll I'll make this thing a, a daily thing. Because again, look, man, you guys, we're, we're in self-isolation. I mean, England are in self-isolation until at least mid-May. Most of us guys are so look, man, just to, you know. And yeah, yeah, why not, man? Why not? You know, let, let me let me do it, man. <laughs> um so um that's what it is, I think. No, I don't. I mean, I've 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 heard of UK Drill, but I don't really listen to U, UK Drill that much personally. Um, but I'm not giving it a proper listen. So if I don't give it a proper listen, is it safe for me to really come with a um, rights kind of um, thingy to do so? But, but guys, also as well, look, this is what I always say. I try my best to think up. Um, topics, but I want topics that people want to hear. To so this is about all this. If there are any topics that you want me to discuss on these shows, email your boy. My half hope, I think I say my half hope hot at gmail.com. 
I'll put it in the description box below and even in the comments below. If there are any topics you want me to talk about, please help me. And then I'll do it through. Because again, look, I mean, because I want to get Danny T on it because we have to do a, a racism talk because that's where things, things now, now get, get deep. Because I want to do a talk about racism. I want to do a talk about bullying. I want to talk, a, I wanna talk a, a talk about bullying, especially bullying within school and bullies and those who were bullied. And what happened to the bullies after school and what happened to those guys that were bullied? And if you were bullied and a bully 20 years after years later has changed, should you still forgive that bully? Hey, that happened 20 years, years ago. I'm a changed man. But I ruined your, your life for like four years when we were in school. Should you still for, forgive him? Should you for, how deep does forgiveness go? So there are a few things, but guys, um, I said, tweet me, get me, uh, tell me what other topics you want me to talk about. I mean, email me so I can. The hell? Sorry, I just saw the crazy one. Ooh! That's a juicy word, man. That is a, that is a, a juicy one, man. Um, that is a, 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 a juicy one. Um, all right, let's see what I'm gonna say, man. Um, oh, I will do. I have watched the Manny documentary. I will do that. I will. I will do a review on that, and I will. I, will, I watch that. I, will, I have watched. I watched the the documentary. So, guys, sending questions, man. Sending questions, man. Let me let me see what you guys are about, man. Um, we see. I listen. This, see, this is the issue with Eminem. Eminem is very skilled. Very, very, very skilled. So he's only percent skilled. But if you compare Kamikaze to 444, that's how you see the difference between greatness and someone who's just very good. Like 444 is an example of, yeah, this, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is greatness right here. Kamikaze is just a guy who is really angry and just insulting people. There is no cohesion. There is no direction. It is not well structured. And you're not saying anything. You're just angry and going after pe people. For, and also, even, even what's a music to be modeled by? Again, very skilled. What are you saying? What's the content? You're just telling us how many words you can put into a bar. 444 is the first true grown-up rap album. Because <laughs> I remember when I when I first listened to 444, I was like, ah, this is not very good. Then my friend said, bro, man, 444 is amazing. Listen, listen to it again. I said, really? So I listened to it again. I was like, oh, now I because you see, for me, with music, it's instance. The moments very rarely do I change my opinion on a piece of music. You know, because for me, music is, is instant. But 444 was like the first time, or one of the first few times where, when I listened to it again, I was like, oh, I now get, I'm now I'm now understand what he what he's now doing here. And I was like, yeah, it's like, he is he's, he says a lot. And this is the first true grown-up mature album. So, yeah, man, look, again, I'm not a Jay-Z fan. I'm not a Jay-Z fan. I'm, I've never been a fan of Jay-Z personally. But everyone was being objective. He's that dude. Jay Z is that dude. Jay Z is that dude, bro. Um, uh, uh, oh, bro, you can't say that. I, bro, if you said this in a rap, get hooked, hooked together. You'd, you'd, you'd get thrown out the, the, the window. That's just me. You know what? I'm lying. Please, go into a rap community or a rap kind of gets together and say the Eminem show is better than Reasonable Doubt. <laughs> Jay-Z's debut album. That's insane, man. Um...
So, so why is Michael Jackson getting falsely accused? And how did that mock of a documentary not get criticized? You know, look, see, again, this is for a different stream. And I think, I think this is a good subject for a different stream. You can't convict anybody without hard evidence, and you can't convict someone based off a documentary. That's not how the law works. <laughs> I'm sure you can make a documentary about something that, that that says I'm some psychopath. It's a documentary. You have to you can say, okay, we're now convicting you based off what people said in a, in a documentary. No, you have to have research and you have to have things. The, the documentary was made by a filmmaker. Like the R. Kelly documentary was made by a researcher, an actual journalist. The documentary made by for the Michael thing was made by a film. This guy, he makes films. So you're gonna believe. A filmmaker or a journalist who researches, um, but I've always said, that, oh, you know what? This, this is this is this is a difference. This, you know, this is something I'm going to even going to put down, which is let's talk about Michael Jackson, because there's black Mike and there's white Mike. So I'll leave it as that. There's black Mike and there's white Mike. Those are two different Michael Jackson errors. <laughs> you know, yes, he's great and everything, but those are two very different Michael Jackson errors. And I grew up with both, you know? I grew up with, with, with like, one of the very first videos I remember watching was um, the Motown performance by Michael Jackson. That was one of the first ones I ever watched, which was the Motown by Michael Jackson. So, um, yeah, what the hell, <laughs> bro? Nobody, there is only one Uma Johnson, man. There's only one Uma, Uma Johnson, man. That's it, man. Um, <laughs> have you watched Money Heist? Um, not yet, not yet. But I will get to it though. I will I will get to money heist though. I will get to money heist. I will, I will, I will get there. But I've <laughs> there's many, many things to watch. I'm watching Dragon Ball Super right now. Um and I would I'm not saying anything right now. I have begun the legend of Ang, Airbend. I'm not gonna say anything because I've got to I've I've got to go through through the episodes and everything to fully judge it because I'm not judging it now. Just so watch the first episode, and okay, it's just getting warmed up right now. But let's see, <laughs> okay? Because we're doing there were a few cheesy moments, but the story is interesting. We shall we we wait and and we seek. Um, College Dropout is not a top five album of all time, no. But it is an excellent album. College Dropout is like I would say is top twenty, which is pretty good. A call dropout, you could argue, is top 20, top 20. For rap album, call dropout is top 20. It's... Top, no, no, there, there are too many great rap albums. So it's top 20. Top 20. Yeah, like there, there's so many great rap albums. For me to put the top ten, top fifteen, so like I can, I can name eighteen, nineteen better rap albums. I mean, all of the Wu Tang Solar albums, Nas's albums, Jay Z's albums, KRS One's album, Most Def's debut album, Common's albums. Yeah, like I mean, you know, you see, and this is the thing about Eminem's music is it was it's very time specific. Because a lot of the stuff he's saying is about, you know, pops up at the time. Try listening to him. I've I've tried listening to Eminem's albums now. So I was like, like this guy was profane. It's like I hear him some of the stuff he's saying. It was obviously cool and everything and had shock value back then. But in 2020, this stuff ages badly because it's very time specific. You see, illmatic or reasonable doubt. That is classic pieces of work because that is. That stuff is timeless. It's like most deaths back to um, black, like, sorry, black on both sides. Bro, you, you, can, you can play that for all time. Because what most deaths says on that album is timeless. 
But what Eminem says on his album is very time specific of that time. So yeah, no, no, no. His his music it is very, very badly. <laughs> Bro, J. Cole is J. Cole is a right producer away from release from, from having a classic album. Like a genuinely classic album that can be put alongside Illmatic or Black on both sides. Because J. Cole is a Okay, 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 you want to go in? Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. You want, you want to say something? This isn't, this isn't that controversial. It may sound controversial on face value, but it's not that, that controversial. Kendrick Lamar makes better albums. J. Cole is a better rapper. I'll say it again. Kendrick Lamar makes better albums, is a better artist, can produce a better project. For the purity of rap and skill of just rapping and flowing, J. Cole is a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar. He just needs the right producer. See, Kendrick Lamar is just a D-A-A-G. Um, H.H., ever listen to metal, rock, or alternative? You see, bro, my music range is pretty vast. If you go onto my phone, you will see MJ, you will see Slipknot, you'll see Stone Temple Pilots, you will see what's the name of that? Um, oh gosh, what's that? Cheryl Crow, you will see Madonna, you will see George George Michael, you will see Metallica, um, Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Um, you'll see movie soundtracks. Like, I'm not one of those dudes that are like, yeah, man, I'll listen to rap. And, you know, because I, rem I, rem I, rem I remember this so clearly because I remember I was, I was in school. This is when I was, just, I was only listening to rap. I was like, rap, rap, rap is my thing. I know rap, rock is just, even if rock comes from rock and roll, so blah, blah, blah. I remember my friend putting on Rage Against the Machine and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa this is a bit thingy. Then I remember the first rock song I really was into was Pistol Grip Pump by Rage Against the Machine. I once did this, oh, this is interesting. Then my older brother, who was into grunge music, who was no, not into grunge music, but just into early 90s music, gave me Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, all these guys. And I was like, wow. Then I did, I did a deep dive into Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. Funny story. I don't know how many of you guys have heard this. So I'm a huge Soundgarden fan. Huge Soundgarden fan. You know, obviously, you know, condolences rest in peace to Chris Cohn. Now, massive fan. So yeah, like, I love, yeah, I've, I've got all the, all the albums and everything. Um. So I heard that Soundgarden were having a concert in London. I was like, ooh, 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 yes, I have the chance of seeing Soundgarden live. So I, you know, I, I get that and everything. You know, this was, um, I don't know if you guys in London know, it's um, Brixton, the O2, I think it's the O2 Academy in, in, in Brixton. So I go there, I'm super excited. I walk in, <laughs> Every, almost everyone starts to stare at me. This is, it's like a big place. Hundreds of people. Almost everyone starts to stare at me. <laughs> there are about 300, 400 people here. I am literally the only black guy in this whole place. So for them, they were like, what the? <laughs> What's this? So, because it's like, I've, I've not met any black person who is a fan of, of Soundgarden. <laughs> not about a single one. I'm not about a single black person who is a fan of, or who is... As much of a fan to literally buy a ticket to watch Soundgarden live. So yeah, so no, that was that was an experience. I was like, okay, don't know whether I want to do this again. But yeah, I so yeah, I mean, so rap, mainly nineties rap, nineties R and B, I suppose, but very specific R and B, um, grunge, really into grunge, um, early, basically early nineties grunge, basically Stone Temple Pilots, Pearl Jam, a bit of Alice in Chains, um, huge, huge Rage Against the Machine fan. I mean. For me, I say Rage Against the Machine are the best band of all time. Best band of all time is Rage Against the Machine. Um, and, yeah, and 90s pop. 90s pop music, I love. <laughs> you know, 90s pop. That's why I always try and look for playlists of 90s pop because it's very nostalgic. If you play me... Gosh, what's the name of that? Madonna. Um, wait. 
And well, no, 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 no. It's um, is this substitute for love? There's a Madonna track, Drowned World. No, no, it's not Drowned World. Wait, what's the name of? Wait, what's the name of that my, my, my Madonna album where she's um? Wait, <laughs> Ray of Ray of Lights. If you play me Ray of Lights, that instantly transports me to a specific place. The moment I hear this, like, oh my gosh, I remember where I was when I heard about this. I remember what I was doing when I went ahead about this. So there are certain tracks in the 90s that just transform me back to places, man. So, so yeah. So Footy Wizard, man. Um, Billie Jean or Liberian Girl? By the way, you're missing so Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I, will, I, will, I will get to them. I'll get to them. Billie Jean or Liberian Girl? You see, the thing about Billie Jean is... Whenever I listen to the track, I always think of the Motown performance. I can never really listen to the track by itself. So you know what? I think I'd say Liberian Girl is maybe a better track. Liberian Girl, they came here to, and to change my world. Oh, look, you know what? I think I, think I might say, oh, I think I'm going to play some MJ, man. I'm going to play some MJ. I think Liberian Girl might be an overall better track. But Billie Jean is more popular based on what he did with the music video and so forth. So, um, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Story of OJ. Oh, no. Huge. Story of, of, of OJ is a, a game. How many rappers have been able to produce the content like a story of OJ? Which is why Jay-Z is in a separate category because Jesus, nobody has Jesus' longevity or relevance. Name me a rapper who has remained relevant since 96 to 2020. You can't. You can't. Name me a rapper who has remained culturally, keyword, culturally relevant from 96 to 2020. You can't say Eminem because Eminem has been accused of man. You're old, man. This is, and this is software's work. You're, 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 you're out of touch. That's why he released Kamikaze because the album before Kamikaze was gutter trash, you know? So, guys, don't... You're sleeping on... on you, need, you need to put some respect on, on Jay-Z's name, man. You need to put a lot more respect on Jay-Z's name. Um, nothing is... Let me see anything. All right, cool. I've caught up with the super chats, man. Um, all right. You know what? This comparison doesn't make sense because they're too different. See, see, people have always tried to compare them, but you know why it doesn't make sense? It's um, Prince is a musician. Michael Jackson is a performer. And I think they are one in one. So Prince's music is very different from Michael Jackson's music. What makes Prince what makes Prince great is very different from what makes Michael Jackson great. What makes Michael Jackson great is he revolutionized performance <clears throat> and he revolutionized dance. But key thing, the key thing for Michael Jackson was the obviously the tracks he made and how he executed the tracks, but it was really his performance and how he performed the, the tracks. Smooth Criminal is not a good song. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. And yeah, you're okay. And yeah, you're okay. Smooth Criminal is not a good song. It's not, it's not great. The music video makes it iconic. Beat It is not a great track. The music makes it great. And you, do, you want to, to, do you want to be fully controversial? Thriller in that great a track by itself. But the music video enhances the track. And that is the power of what a really good music video and a really good performance can do. It can make a average song iconic or amazing you know so but prince is but prince can play the piano can play the guitar and can do a spin in in high heels so what prince is doing is combining um instruments with performance but the key thing is this dude is dancing in high heels can sing in a super high-pitched voice can play the guitar 
and can play the piano. So it's different. It's different, man. Um, yeah, no, I was I was looking at this. Now. Um, I I I I put up a video about this. Guys, we may never know whether Kim Jong Un is truly dead or not. If North if North Korea decide, we may, we may never know. Nobody nobody can verify anything that happens in in North Korea. How? Who? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so even people that say that oh he's ill, wait how do how how do you know he's ill? Nobody knows anything that's happened in North Korea. Those guys are closed off to the rest of the world. So how the hell do you know what the hell is happening in a place that is closed off to the rest of the world? How? So, nah, man, it's 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 it's, it's, it's different, man. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, what is this there? Say? <laughs> Wait, thoughts on um, Clockwork Orange? Do you think it's the weirdest film of all time? And do you think you have a bad influence on society? No, no. Clockwork Orange was banned. I think it was rated an X because many people were mimicking the stuff that um, I think what's it called Delage was doing. So it was it was it was banned for a, a long time. Um, it's for me the World War is a, is an amazing film. When you study what it's saying and you go behind the meaning of what it's saying about society and stuff, it's truly it is it's an amazing it's 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 a, it's a, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. It's it's not. I'm not a fan of Kubrick, but that is an amazing. It's, it is an amazing film based on what it is saying and it's an amazing performance um by your by your boy in it. Um oh yeah system of down wake up no 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 wake up so wake up I wanted to wake up I wanted to you need your trust um bro I don't like all power to him bro you know but um I don't I just I I just don't do that kind of content you know um but yeah, look, all power to him. He is what he is, you know. But you know, like, look, the beauty about YouTube or this stuff is like, you know, you have different people who do different things, you know. Um, I offer something different, you know. Um, and yeah, but again, so I don't want to sound like a hater because I'm not, but I just so I'm just not into his content. I saw some of it and I'm like, yeah, it's not for me. But boom, black guy and his cash and so forth, boom. I can't hate on that, you know. You can't hate them. So yeah, look, man, let him do let, 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 let him do his thing, man. Um, oh wow. See, I don't even know whether I want to even save this for a different stream because that my experience in Japan was was really good. It was a really memorable experience, you know. Maybe I can talk about that much more in in um, in um, detail. Um, but I'll say this, I'll say this. You don't have to eat sushi every day in Japan. For two weeks, two weeks, I didn't eat one plate of sushi there in, in Japan. You know, but one, one thing I'll say though is that I was pissed off. I was pissed off, I was pissed off. We went to a toy store. Guys, the toy porn, the toy porn you will receive when you go into Japan, it will stun you. So I went to a, a, a toy shop where there was this amazing toy thingy of um, Venom against Spider-Man. So I think there's like a building and you have Spider-Man and Venom fighting when it goes like, wow. But then because I'm a, ba I'm a Batman dude, I got this Batman toy, which was, I think it was the last one that was there. So it's like an old school Batman kind of toy that I basically got. But there was a Ram... Guys, if I tell you... I, I wish I took a picture... There was this Rambo 2 toy. Oh my god. The detail on this was cheap because basically it's like Ram it's, it's like from Ram Rambo 2. So it's got like the rock the rocky stuff there and everything. And he basically hands like his bone arrow. The detail on this was insane. It was absolutely insane. Just that I just didn't have enough money. Because again, like remember, when you go on a trip, you have to buy stuff for obviously souvenirs for yourself. You have to buy stuff for the, for the family. You have to buy stuff for my 
brothers, my sister, my mom, for other people as well. So boom, um, pay and honor. That was oh gosh, man. Oh man, that was um that the toy shop was um quality, man. The toy shop was was was, was quality. Um No, no, Japan, look, this is what I said to, to everyone, man. Um, when you, if you can save up money, <laughs> if you can save up money, man, um, go to Japan. Like, it's, ex it's a bit expensive. Depending on where you live, it can be long. It is so worth it. And the thing about Japan is Tokyo is amazing. Tokyo is amazing. Like, Shibuya, awesome. Shibuya awesome. Shibuya is subalashi, subalashi. Um, but when you go to Kyoto, that's when you go to the real Japan. When you go to Kyoto, that's when you go to the real Japan. But yeah, maybe on another stream, I will tell you about my experience of roller coasters. Because after I went to Japan, I am never in my life going on roller coasters. And I still have nightmares to this day of my roller coaster experience. My testicles and my balls got reconstructed after I experienced because because you know how crazy Japan is. So when Japan wants to now do oh you want to do crazy roller coasters, they were, what happened to me on these roller coasters? Don't worry, I'll save it. I'll save it for another stream, man. I will save it for another stream. I'll save it. For, don't worry, I will save it, man. Because yeah, why don't you believe in the moon landing? Um, how? You landed on the moon in the 60s. Why can't you land on, on the moon several times afterwards? Um, there are inconsistencies. Like, there's the theory with the flag billowing. There's no wind in space. So how come the, the flag billows? Um, it is very... The, couple with the fact that you've not landed on the moon several times be, before... And you look at Capricorn 1. And the fact that, remember, America was in a space race with Russia. So all America wanted to do was, we have to be the first to land on the moon before the Russians. So when you think of that desperation, it is not beyond the realm to say, let's devise a plan. <laughs> let's hire a studio, make up a place that looks like the moon, and be missed through and act like if we actually landed on, on, on the moon. So until I see hard evidence, I'm merely just I am merely not going to believe just something I, I, I saw on the TV. And I was watching this dog, dog documentary about someone who sort of walked on the whole um space age thing during the time and he said, <laughs> It's a, bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit tricky, man. It's a bit tricky, bro. It's a bit tricky. Um, oh, Mr. Super Chat. All right. Um, all right. Hey, I'm Chigrid, man. Thank you for the Super Chat, bro. Fave MJ song. Mine's Beat It. I've got several. I've got several. But you picked one, so I'm going to pick. See, it keeps on changing. For a long time, it was rock with you. For a very long time, it was rock with, 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 with you. Because I remember seeing that music video with his amazing glittery thing when I was in, 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 in Nigeria. And I was basically grabbing my balls. And my, and my mom was like, shouting me, say, stop grabbing your balls. But as an adult growing up, we're not, I've got to say, it's a right now. It will keep on changing, but right now, um, the way you make me feel. That is an amazing track. And also, go on YouTube and type in the way you make me feel live performance. Wait, I can't remember. Wait, which, 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 which one is it? Let me, wait, the way you make me feel live performance. There's a specific... Which one is it? Oh, yeah. No, 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 Auckland. What the hell? All right, there's one. Yes, I think it's this one. Wait, 
I think this is this one, is this one, is this one. Right. 30th anniversary. No, it's no, 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 no. Let's talk. Okay, but there is one that he does where he does the way you make me feel and man in the mirror, which is also a a, a big song. Yeah, this the one. Yeah, this the one. Um, because I because I can't play it because they just have copyright thing. So yes, so go onto YouTube and just type in. Michael Jackson live, where you make me feel man in the mirror. This was an incredible performance. An absolutely, an absolutely incredible performance, man. Absolutely in, in, superb. Totally and utterly superb, man. Um, but yeah, the way you make, make me feel right now is my favorite MJ song, man. And, and a great video. And, and a, a great video, man. Yes, I will get the bro. It's just I, I will get there. I will watch the Grey Roman. Oh, <laughs> ghosts! All right. Oh, look, I said, look, man. I mean, so so. I don't forget. Email. I mean, I mean, guys. Um, mail me these these things, man. Um. Of course I do. Of course I, I question everything, man. Um, I mean, again, this is a, this. I mean, this is another big topic as well. The whole thing with the twin twin, twin towers and everything, man. It's like, because there is a there was an interesting documentary about it. About um, the inside job and about the Rothschilds and and the people who. Um, where someone was involved, but I think that's just so crazy, man. That's just really, really crazy, man. That's just that's just really, really, really crazy. It's like if if we're now rolling in with um, the Rothschilds and a building was destroyed and people sort of came, I mean, like then you're just going a bit wild, <laughs> you know. That's good. So I don't think I I don't believe in the inside job of no, nah, I don't. Now the difference between an inside job and maybe people like okay. We're not presented with an opportunity to maximize this to do what you want. See now, now that's a separate topic. The Iraq War. The Iraq War was we are now using this as an opportunity to remove Saddam Hussein and to gain a foothold in the Middle East. One hundred percent. The Iraq, the Iraq War had nothing to do with the, the Twin Towers because remember Twin Towers. But landing that was connected to Af Afghanistan. So and Afghanistan and Iraq, they had nothing to do with each other. And the Iraq war was an illegal war. The UN said, no, they have no weapons of mass destruction. And they found no weapons of mass, mass destruction. But yeah, look, we can, we can discuss that. We can discuss that. Um, it should, what's so great about Spirited Away? You see, <laughs> Spirited Away, um, what I liked about Spirited Away and the higher Miyazaki stuff is first of all, it's better than Pixar. Let me re let me say this again. Pixar's trash. I don't care what anyone says. Pixar's trash. Pixar's trash. All those Toy Stories are all overrated. It's 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 it's, it's, it's the same jokes, same crap, same characters again and again and, and again. So I like that it was so different from Pixar. But I think the kind of see, I am not the biggest fan of Spirited Away, but I like how I, I liked the atmosphere. That Miyazaki sort of presented in the films and the characters. And the animation is outstanding. Absolutely. See, for me, the animation and the artistry in Spirited Away for me is far better than anything I saw um, in Pixar. But just that it's just a very, it's a more in it's it's a it's a very inventive, interesting story. Same thing as Princess Mononoke. It's quite an inventive, interesting story. The music, the music in both is superb. The music in both of them is absolutely freaking superb. You know, it is absolutely freaking superb. So, so um, I will, I will give them that man. The music in both of them is, is for that man. Um,
Uh, Pixar is okay. Let me okay. Let's talk. Maybe this is for a different thing, but let me just talk briefly about about Pixar. Then I will never deny that Pixar has the animation is great because yes, in terms of three D animation, it's great. The content is garbage. The content is the cons. The content. What's the actual stories is garbage. It's I call it emotional mani manipulation. Cheap, the cheapest, lowest form of emotional manipulation. Make a damn story. Just make a damn story. Stop trying to make me cry. It's like, oh, how sweet. Oh, no. I mean, just make it. Just make a story. That's why I've always said that. Basil, the great mass detective, quality, quality. It's just a story. It's just a story that gives you an interesting twist on Sherlock Holmes. Um, Akira. Akira is just a damn story. It's just, it's just a story. That's effed up, screwed up, and messed up. Because, guys, <laughs> Akira is wild. <laughs> Akira, that thing is wild. But for me, Pixar and Disney haven't done anything nearly as interesting creatively as Akira. On a creative, imaginative, dynamic level, Pixar and Disney have not done anything close to Akira. You know, because you, you look at it, it's like, oh my, yeah, it's like uh, this is where you're really pushing. You're pushing the art form right to its to its limit. You know, um, so yeah, and, 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 tell you the truth. I can't remember the last Pixar film that I saw. Because, like, there was one Pixar film that I saw that I said, you know what, I'm done. It must have been Wally. Because I remember I put on Wally for my family during Christmas. And my mom and my sister fell asleep. They fell asleep. So I think the last Pixar film I saw was Wally. Because it's just the same emotional manipulation crap, man. You know? So, bro. I have watched Fist of the North Star, bro. Fist of the North Star changed me, okay? <laughs> Fist of the North Star changed me, okay? Fist of the North Star changed me. Fist of the North Star is, is, is damn good, man. Now, this is now an interesting... This is an interesting top 10. <laughs> what is the greatest animated film of all time? <laughs> what is the greatest animated film of all time? Um... Because Akira is up there. And do you know what Akira has above the Disney films? It's an original story. So people say, okay, what about Beauty and the Beast? What about Aladdin? What all this stuff? No, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, all this stuff. I think even Snow White are all adaptations of other stories. So they are all they are taking stories and obviously just spinning them, but they're they are, they are already pre-existing stories, you know. Um, but Akira is, is is different, and I think yeah, you see, I saw the manga, I saw the manga in my comic book bookstore because I think they had like the massive Akira manga. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was in Forbidden Planet. I think it was it was in Forbidden Planets where they had the massive Akira book or in my local comic book store. Because my local comic book store is uh, actually no, I don't want to reveal that. I don't want to reveal where that's because I don't want to reveal where I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and speaking of manga, guys, I have I have ordered the next two volumes of the Naruto manga. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I have ordered the next few of the Naruto manga. I am hooked. I am in. I'm riding through. I, I, it's, like, it's like, okay, all right, you got me. You got me. You've got me. Okay. You've got me. The next thing, man, I, you've got me. I'm in. I'm in. Um, so, one of my thank you, Super Chat, dear sire. Says, your HH, listen to Pink Floyd, comfortably numb pulse live with headphones. The guitar solo gives me chills, man. By the way, future. Top eight, top five YouTubers. Okay, let me. I'll answer the YouTuber things um afterwards. Um. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll I will give it a listen. But 
I'm willing to take a bet with you. The guitar solo cannot beat some of the solos that Tom Morello has. It can't. Because I believe that Tom Morello, along with Jimi Hendrix, are the best guitarists of all time. But what Tom Morello can do on that guitar is different. <laughs> is is completely is completely different. But yeah, I will mark it down, bro. I mean, like, just remind me on the on the on the Discord. I will I will I will give it to this because I've got I've got great head headphones, man. I've got you great head, head I've got great headphones. So yeah, as for YouTubers, guys, I don't I don't really watch YouTube that much. I don't really watch YouTube that 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 much, you know. So I'm not because really I am so I make my content, I do my live shows, and I'm watching I'm either watching films or gaming. So I'm either watching films or gaming. You know, I'm still on that bomber's calorie on become a legend, man. Um, so it's 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 the thing, man. But what I will say though is that if you're looking for entertainment and for movies, um, Judy's Corner is amazing, and I think it's probably it's probably the the, the best. If you're looking for video game reviews, nobody is touching Angry Joe. No one is touching Angry Joe. If you're looking for honest, proper critique of a video game, like I never buy a video game until I watch an Angry Joe review. He, the, the guy is the best. Like, and he's been and he's doing it from way back. So Angry, Angry Joe for me is like, because remember, IGN are shills. And I found out like, IGN and, and GameSpot are shills. So um, those guys cannot be trusted, man. Um, all right, let me just see. <laughs> Have you seen Berserk? Lives up to it to its name. Give me a brief synopsis of Berserk. Because look, man, I'm again I am I'm looking for I'm, I'm ready to view the new animes, but I'm saying that maybe manga is the way into some of this anime. Like one punch man is just separate. You know, that's just the thing. Because I'm saying right now, guys, there isn't an anime that you will give me that, in my view, is gonna touch one punch man. One punch man is just gold. Like Saitama is one of the greatest characters of all time. Like there isn't a more interesting character you can give me than Saitama. You just can't. Um, but I keep on hearing about Berserk. Let me let me pull this up, man. Let me see what's popping about Berserk. So Berserk anime. Um, share screen application window. All right, Berserk. Oh, wow. The art is, is pretty good. This is giving me Fist of the North Star vibes. Actually, I mean, quality-wise, this looks pretty good. But which is better, though, the anime or the manga? You know, which is better, the anime or the manga? But actually, you know what? That looks pretty good. That actually looks looks pretty good. Um, okay. <laughs> um, nah, bro. You see, see, see now. Be very careful here. Now, I'm still reading the Naruto manga. I'm still reading the Naruto manga, man. Um. So I'm still going through that. So let me just get through that and, and, and then we'll then have an assessment. But I think one punch man is just different. It's something that is different because see, one punch man is a comedy. That's like I think it is at its very core, it's a comedy. And for me, I think a really, really good comedy. Um, so Naruto, I just think it's a more wholesome full of things. So maybe you compare Naruto to a hunter, ex hunter. You know, I think that, that's, that's a, a, a better comparison. I think One Punch Man, One Punch Man is just you, you, unique because it's it's a, it's a comedy. <laughs> okay, it's only Moomin Rider, man. <laughs> Moomin Rider is that dude. Um, so, all right. So, react to Long Long Beach Griffey. What is Long Beach Griffey? If you tell me what Long Beach Griffey is, then I will. I'm um, thinking, man. Um, 
what is what is Long Beach grief here? And again, guys, I am not reacting to anything that is disgusting or sick. So please, man. Oh, and also, they were saying that they want to make um. Okay, I will. I, I, I will YouTube it. They said that they wanted to make a um um a movie of One Punch Man. Guess who the writers of this movie are going to be? The writers of Venom. The writers of that complete, utter, gutter, vile, repulsive trash. Want to not try and um. And make a um, thing in my jig. But then I'm, I am not touching or coming close to a One Punch Man movie. No way. I'm not coming close or touching, <laughs> coming very close to a One Punch Man movie. It ain't happening. No way is, is, is it happening, man. It's like One Punch Man should only exist as a, um, One Punch Man should only exist as a anime. So, when season three drops, holla at your boy. What do you think of nine to five jobs? Um, I I just can't. That's not how I can't hold on a nine to five job. But that's just me. So people that are doing nine to five, I know many of my family members that do nine nine to fives. It's cool. It is what what you are. I did a nine to five, and I remember um, I told my boss that I, I'm sorry, man. I can't. I can't, <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I just can't. So this is why I've tried, and this, and it's hard, man. Being, and again, this is another, this is another good topic. Um, the difficulties of being independent or an entrepreneur, because yeah, by definition, I am an entrepreneur. The other job I have is a self-employed job, so I've got to do my own taxes. So the other job I have is a self-employed job. So I have, I have been self-employed for about. Four or five years. So yeah, about about four years I've been I've been self-employed. And it ain't easy. It ain't easy, you know. But that's for me is I feel is where I can strive through because I told you I hated school. I hated school. School was horrible. <laughs> you know, I don't have any good memories of school. I have no good memories of of school. School was trash because I hate being told what to do. And where to go at a specific time. That just drives me insane. If you say, no, 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 you have to do this, so you have to go there this way. I'm like, why? Again, go to the whole point of why. No, 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 no. You because you have to, because I said so. No, no, what do you mean by but you said so? Why do I have to do that? Why? So the whole thing of like you have to do it this way, you are answerable to, to this. I'm like, nah, man, screw you, bro. Screw you. So um, yeah, but but then there are some people who they enjoy 95 jobs for people. Let's say people who have a passion for law or passion for retail. As long as you're happy, you're happy. As long as you're happy, you're, you're, you're happy, man. Um, so that's, that, that's the thing there, man. Um, YouTube, when your friend is a savage by Griffey. Oh my God. All right. <sighs> when your friend because I can't watch anything here, bro, because um, it will tear. Your friend is a savage. Okay, so the, okay, so he's called Longer Beach Griffey. All right. I've got it saved, man. I've, I've got it saved, and then I will, I will, I will show you my reaction after I, I watch it, man. Um, so, right, last six minutes, guys. Last six minutes before I've got to um, get ready for the Saturday open hangers, and I'm going to do some washing up. And um, have myself a meal. I've not actually had anything proper to it. But yeah, well, yeah. What have you guys been doing? So, what films have you watched? What TV shows have you watched? And maybe I should give you guys a film rec recommendation. So, film, 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 film recommendation. Let's have let's have a bit of, of a a comedy. Let's have a bit of a comedy. You guys, I think you should guys should watch Undercover Brother. <laughs> so maybe you haven't, but you guys should try and watch Undercover Brother. Quality, quality, quality film. And if you don't know where to watch it, just tweet me. Tweet me. And then I will give you the link of what to, what to watch. 
Um, there you go. That should have most links. So every time I say a film or anything, that should have. So again, so what I want you guys to do is that, you know, watch it. Then tomorrow, we will then have a discussion about it. So if any, if, if you can't find it, um, tweet me. If you can't find it, tweet me, and I will give you a link for where to watch it. So, if, so each time, I will recommend a, a movie, and then you guys have to watch it, and I will then talk about it on the next stream. So... There are no varieties on that, bro. I mean, there are ads and everything, but trust me, I I use it, bro. I use it, so it's it, it's 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 cool, bro. It's cool. Um, now, is Ozark? How good is Ozark? I watched the first episode of Ozark because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, this thing is amazing." This thing is amazing. I don't know it has Jason Bateman in it, so. Yeah, how good is, is Ozark? If you guys can tell me, how good is, is, is Ozark? Now, when you say Titans, is this Teen Titans? Because I see a show, because basically I share my account with my friend, who was obviously with my family and my, and my friend also. I'm in Nigeria. And I see that he's been watching Titans. Um, and when I want, so for me, it's like, because you see, CW is trash. <laughs> okay. CW is flipping gutter garbage trash. Because the stuff that those guys produce is horrible. If you've seen like the new Superman that that, that that they made, it's trash. So that kind of Titans, Teen Titans and stuff and everything, bro. I'm not even coming close to that kind of stuff, bro. I'm not even coming close to that kind of stuff. Um Bro, I'll, I'll be real with you, man. Attack on Titan. Nah, man, it's, 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 it's not my thing. <laughs> As I said again, great concept. Great. Oh, yeah, DC Titans. Yeah, you know. Basically, more. As soon as I saw the image, I was like, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. I'm out. I'm out. Please. As soon as I saw the image, I said, I'm out. I'm out. Attack on Titan. Great concept great concept executed poorly some really good moments some really good more moments but um the execution garbage poor execution um so yeah it's it is overrated based on how people have talked about it and 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 and, and, and so forth it's just the idea was great and see, that could make a great film idea. Great film idea. You know, um, group of people stuck within a city. It's set in a separate kind of, kind of time where they don't really have advanced weapons. Fighting against these crazy, scary giants who come and hunt them down. It's a crazy idea. But the way they go and venture off, people are going stupid. And also, the, the main guys, that's Aaron. The guy just keeps on screaming all, 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 all the time, man. Um, it's it's nah 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 nah. It's, it's, nah. nah, nah. Um, oh, Westworld was um I haven't seen season two. I liked season one. I did like season one. Um, but I didn't yeah, I just haven't bothered bothered with season two. But season one was cool. It was cool, bro. I mean, well, it was cool. again great idea. Could have been executed better. It was executed pretty well, pretty well. But I, the ending wasn't really, the ending didn't really hit. And I just thought that because it is, it is a really, really cool idea. But I think that they got wrapped up in trying to make it too com complex. I think. They try to make it look look too, too 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 complex, bro. Don't even bother with the with the next few seasons, man. Quit quit while while you're ahead because it doesn't get it. It doesn't make any more sense in the next few seasons. By the time you get into season three, you're like, what the hell is going on? Because again, it makes no sense. 
you know. So yeah, I mean, uh, attack on, on on Tyson was a slog to to go through, man. A slog, and I say was was a slog to go to go through. Haven't seen this. Haven't seen Slumdog Millionaire. Um, but from the trailer and so forth, I can tell it's, it's not a film that I would I would like. You know, because uh, again, again, I don't do cheesy films. Like I don't do cheesy films. I don't do romance. So romance, cheesy, unless it's romantic comedies made in the eighties, then all right. Um, but yeah, like yeah, I don't like from from. I'm like yeah, I, I can tell that I won't like it, guys. It's been swell. I need to do some washing up because my kitchen looks like um, Marcos Alonso's wing of the Brick Academy. So I have a lot of washing up to to do. But tomorrow, guys. I will be on here. So 7 p.m. Again, 7 p.m. BST. We'll try and make this thing a nightly thing. Remember, bring, bring your meals, bring everything you have, and we will have a nice, good civil discussion. So, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow, 7 p.m. BST. Stay safe, stay home, stay real, and stay well fed. Peace out.